Alright guys, uh, today we're going to do some more discussion of the, the live event that is happening in two days. We all have noticed that the countdown above the agency is now available to see in-game. In it's important for you to listen to this if you want to know everything about the live event. And remember, this is only my theory, not, uh, it's not actually real, I'm not percent sure, but it's just my theory, okay? At least f schools was in lockdowns, because otherwise I would have been mad. Reason why is because since Fortnite's live event is happening on a Monday, it will happen at 2 p.m. Easter Standard Time. But since I live in the Pacific Time Zone, it will happen in 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And before you land at 11 o'clock or 2 p.m., it will have a five-minute delay. So hopefully you will have enough time. Now there's more. My best idea to land at the agency is all around the agency where the hatches are. Unless if you're crazy enough, just land above the on top of the agency. Here is my theory that what will happen when the countdown timer above the agency reaches zero. And remember, this is only my theory, okay? It's not 100% real, okay? When the countdown timer reaches zero, it will generate a powerful storm that will cause the map to be flooded. And not just that, but the agency will be destroyed by th when that happens. Which will result all of the bunkers to be opened to shoot out missiles or lasers or something and cause some major damage across the agency. Not just that, when Chapter 2 Season 3 starts, we all know the entire map will be flooded, but what's gonna happen to s Steamy Stacks and Slurpy Swamp? Well, I guess only time will tell. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's all I have. No further questions.